Look, I wish to return to a matter that I raised last week. I note that after I mentioned it, a number of other politicians in the area took an interest in the issue and are rightly, in my view, calling for an investigation into the matter of the babies buried in the septic tank in Chum. In that regard, I wrote to the Taoiseach last week and yesterday was in communication with the Minister for Children and Youth Affairs, Deputy Charlie Flanagan. I am assured that the government at the highest level are taking the matter most seriously and that an investigation will take place. The matter is complicated by the fact that several government departments are involved and discussions are underway as to how to best proceed. I heard it said during the week that the institutional church, that is the local bishop, would have had no hand, act or part in the running of the home in Chum, or have had any say over the Bon Secours nuns in question. Just to be clear, Canon 394 and 3971, amongst others of the Code of Canon Law, provides that jurisdiction today. A bishop from 1925 to the 1960s had even greater power over the religious in his diocese. For those who say that those were the times and try to pass these events off, let me say this. Death by malnutrition due to neglect as far back as 1918 was manslaughter under common law, our law. The case in question is a decision of the Court of Appeal, Orr versus Gibbons and Proctor. It held that where someone takes upon themselves a duty of care, as in the case of the Bon Secours nuns, they have an obligation to care for the children. It is reported that some of the death certificates record the death, the cause of death as malnutrition. For debate on this issue. What I'm asking for is that the leader would write to the Minister for Justice requesting that she attend a debate in the Shannon on the matter of such unmarked baby graveyards. Chum is not the only one in existence. Thank you.